Hey what's going on guys, today we are going to talk about how you can add Instagram feed on your WordPress website. I will show you how to do that using WordPress editor as well as using Elementor page builder. Not only feed, you can also embed a single post of any Instagram account you want. If you have a website with a decent amount of visitors, you can add your Instagram feed on your website and get more Instagram followers. So without further ado, let's see how we can do that. So our first step to install an Instagram feed plugin. So I go to the add new plugin. Then search for smash balloon social photo feed. Then install and activate this plugin. So after activating, you can notice this Instagram feed option on the WordPress menu. So I click on this. So here you can see this big blue button which says you to connect your Instagram account with this website. So I click this connect an Instagram account button and if you have a personal account you can keep this personal or if you have a business check this as business then click connect. My Instagram account is connected with my Facebook so I log in with this Facebook. Okay, then this plugin needs a permission from Instagram to access your account. So I click this continue button and then click this connect this account button. Okay, our Instagram is successfully connected with our website. So when you connect your account in some cases that may be not working. So in this case, you can click this button not working option to manually add your account. So I will show you how to do that in case of that. So I click this button not working button and click this button to get Instagram access token and connect to my personal account. Then Instagram gives me this long access token. So I copy this token and go to my dashboard and click this manually connect an account button and paste this access token in this field. So at this moment when I click connect this account button my account is also connected to this website manually but I don't want to do that because my account is already connected to this website. So I click the save changes. Our next step to display this feed on my website. So to do this I click this display your feed option and copy this shortcode from here. I want to embed this feed on my blog post so I go to this post and go to this post. You can embed it to any place of your post. I want to embed it under this paragraph. So to embed the feed, I search for the shortcut blog. I click on that and paste the shortcut in this field. Then I click update and view the post. You can see my Instagram feed is successfully embedded to this post and this nice grid view is looks cool. If you want, you can customize the look of this feed if you don't want this header or if you don't want this button and make it two column, three column or five column. You can do this from customize option. So I go to the customize option and show you how you can do that. I go to the customize tab. So first of all, I want to remove the header. So I go to this header option and uncheck this box show feed header. Then I want to make it a three column grid. So I go to this option right here, number of columns. I choose here three and number of photos to nine. So I want it to be a three by three photo gallery grid and I click the save changes. Then I go to my post and refresh this page. So now you can see the header above this gallery is not shown right now. And this is a three by three grid which looks awesome and when I click load more another nine images will appear under this and this is a follow on Instagram button this go to my Instagram account okay that works amazing the next thing I want to do is to add this Instagram feed to an Elementor page so I go to the pages so this is my home page which I built by using Elementor so I click edit with Elementor so in this home page, I want to embed the Instagram feed. I want to remove this image gallery and want to embed my own Instagram feed. So I click the delete button and I search for the shortcut element. I drag it here and then I go to my plugin settings and under this display your feed tab, I again copy this shortcut and paste it right here. Then I click apply. 
then click update and go to preview so now we can see our nice Instagram feed appears right here which looks very cool I click on any post that go to directly to my Instagram post we successfully embedded our Instagram feed to our website now we will see how we can add a single post of Instagram to our website I want to add my single Instagram post to my this blog post above this image so I go to my Instagram account and here one thing to note before you embed a single post make sure the Instagram account is not a private account otherwise you can't embed the single post if you want to embed a post of your account and your account is a private account so first of all you need to make it public so to do this go to the settings and go to the privacy and security from here uncheck the private account option and click ok then go to your account and refresh this page so after refreshing I want to add a post to my website I want to embed this post so I click on this and copy this URL right here after that I return to my blog post and click the edit post then I want to embed the Instagram post right here so I click this plus icon and search for the Instagram blog so in this field I paste the URL I copied before and click the embed button okay now our Instagram feed is successfully embedded to our website so I click update and view this page so our single Instagram post is successfully embedded to our website okay that's how you can add Instagram feed or single post on your website if you enjoyed this video smash the subscribe and like button I publish other WordPress related tutorials every week and you can check this out and stay tuned for more upcoming videos so thank you guys I'll see you in the next video